Cloudcast Media presents from the massive studios in Raleigh, North Carolina. Hi, this is Brian Gracely, and in this video, we're going to expand on what we talked about in a previous video about software-defined networking, and really kind of drill into, you know, this way of doing what some people are calling network virtualization. But but ultimately, it's you know what is architecturally a lot of these software-defined networking architectures begin to look like. So uh, you can think about network virtualization as you know, kind of the marketing term that VMware uses. You can think about it as, you know, separating the control plane from the data plane, which is sort of the open flow type of architecture. But let's kind of talk about, you know, what it's trying to do and, and, and how things sort of work and why they're the way they are. So in these architectures, you really are sort of separating, you know, the control plane from the data plane. And the controller really has two core functions, if you will. I mean, there's a lot of technology inside of these controllers, but two core functions. The first is a set of northbound APIs that allow applications, various applications, network style application, you know, network centric applications, uh, or, you know, provisioning of applications down to the network. Uh, northbound API to talk to that controller. And then the second thing is it's going to have all of the intelligence in terms of topologies, in terms of policy, in terms of being able to update statuses, routes, uh, tables, things like that, um, layer four through seven services potentially, and being able to communicate those through some protocol. It could be STT or OpenFlow or any set of protocols down to the edges of the network. It could be a virtual switch inside of a server that's been virtualized. It could be software running on a top of rack physical network device. Uh, it could also be what's often talk, think, thought about as a sort of an edge gateway function, the way to get from sort of this virtualized network back out to uh, the physical network, the edges of the physical network. So a physical server, VLANs, a WAN, something like that. So you've got that controller really taking care of, of the control function, the maintenance, management, monitoring functions, all the routing updates, and so forth. And then you've got, you know, you still have your physical network, which is going to be your uh, 10 gig, 40 gig, 100 gig uh, Ethernet fabric. Typically, it's going to be leaf and spine types of topologies, uh, non-blocking as much as possible to basically give me very big fat pipes between the edges of the network, between my applications and my users, or applications to applications, depending if it's north and south or east and west traffic. And so you're going to have your controllers talking through some sort of protocol to the edge of the network. Um, when the edge of the network device, a virtual machine for example, wants to talk somewhere else, um, he's going to begin to send traffic. Uh, the controller is going to look up what that looks like in their table and there can be different implementations of that but basically it's going to be some sort of lookup. He's going to let him know where to pass the traffic just like you get in routing updates and ARP and all sorts of other network functions and then he's going to go ahead and create a tunnel, you know, essentially a logical tunnel from point A to point B across that data fabric. And so, you know, all that tunneling, all that communication, point-to-point -point communication gets controlled by these centralized functions. And again, really what you're doing is you're allowing how applications get deployed, how applications kind of get routed to be uh, isolated or abstracted from the physical infrastructure. The physical infrastructure can be topology independent as long as it's passing IP traffic. This can be all about how to automate things, how to be very application centric. So hopefully that gives you a basic understanding of you know, network virtualization, all of these controllers, separated control and data plane functions, and where this kind of fits in the overall SDN picture. Thanks for listening.